The wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. God's right, we are wrong. And specifically, he uses two different words. The ungodliness here is vertical wrong, where we are rebelling against God. And this is horizontal wrong, where we are rebelling against man. Basically, when Jesus gave us the great commandment, he said that we are to love who? God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and we're to love our neighbor as ourself. And he says that basically sums up all the Old Testament law. Do any of us do that perfectly? No. All of us have not loved God in some ways in our life. All of us have not loved our neighbor in some ways of our life. He says the wrath of God is revealed against that. These people who by their unrighteousness, another way of saying it, their wrongness, suppress the truth. Now, this word is a key word in the text here, so we're going to talk about it. The word suppress the truth. Any of you ever gone swimming and uh, there was a beach ball at the swimming pool and you decided you're going to try to get the beach ball under the water? You've ever been there, right? You get the beach ball and you try to push the ball under water and depending how big you are, you, you succeed or not, right? Because there's this tension, right? You try to suppress the ball. You try to push the ball down under water, right? There's a push back, isn't there, right? Okay. Paul says... That all of us, all of us have truth pushed our way. And you and I, you and I, you know what we like to do? We like to push back and try to hold it away. Tim Keller, when he writes on this, he says, we know, but we don't want to know, so we don't know truth. He says, the truth is too uncomfortable because it would prompt us, right, to live and act differently, so we push back on the truth, right? All of us, at one point in our lives, or maybe some of us right now, are doing this with truth. We suppress the truth. 